First of all, I would like to thank the kind invitation that the Department of State of the United States of America extended to us to participate in this forum so that I could share with you some updates regarding Mexico's initiative on climate action. This decade is crucial to accelerate the actions to meet the goals of the Paris Agreement in order to reverse the current trends in climate change and biodiversity loss. We are still facing the challenging effects of the COVID-19 pandemic. Uh, we also must use the lessons learned from this battle from our own benefit and turn them in opportunities to rebuild a more sustainable and resilient society uh, and above all one that is more respectful of nature. Science is so crucial to demonstrate that great economic, social and environmental benefits of designing a sustainable recovery is paramount. According to ACLAC, estimates a recovery from, from COVID-19 takes uh, a potential of the climate crisis can create up to 15 million jobs in sectors such as sustainable agriculture, clean energy, manufacturing, and uh, in also in other areas that could be resilient to climate change. Uh, the fight against climate change is one of the seven priorities access of the multilateral foreign policy uh, of Mexico, which includes the following principles of the national climate policy. First, to generate a new sustainable culture uh, that respects nature and poverty in all of all the forms that it has and the conditions to achieve the necessary and inclusive sustainable economic development that leaves no one behind. Also, to implement the Paris Agreement, we need uh, to do it through the development of public policies uh, to promote the adaptation and the resilience of the communities to the effects of climate change. One way uh, for COP26 to be held in Glasgow next November is uh, one of our main tasks to adjust the goals of the international community in order to update them to the most recent IPCC findings. This uh, is undoubtedly one of the key pending issues as well as finalizing the Paris Agreement rulebook. We are going to uh, advocate on that uh, sense and moreover to optimize, optimize resources uh, for a green and resilient recovery. We believe uh, that we need to strengthen the existing links among the three conventions of uh, the Rio agenda to address the environmental challenges we all face. The expectation uh, is that COP26 will be a milestone for climate action. In that sense, I am pleased to share with you that Mexico is working on the initiative COP Operation Young Ambassadors for Climate. Uh, we, four people between the ages of 18 and 25 years old will be selected and trained in diplomacy and climate change issues to be part of the Mexican delegation at the COP26 in Glasgow. With this project, we seek to include Mexican youth in decision-making processes with the goal to set a precedent in an international climate negotiations and to continue strengthening the empowerment for climate action in present and future generations. Uh, we are so excited for their participation on our delegation and also in line with our feminist foreign policy, Mexico will keep promoting a gender perspective in all the negotiations tracks within the UNFCCC uh, uh, framework. We expect the support of the presidency to continue increasing the visibility and awareness of the Gender Action Plan and its implementation. In addition, in regard to our recent commitment with the Escazú Agreement, Mexico will continue to promote the inclusion of a human rights approach in all the climate change decisions. Mexico recognized that both adaptation and mitigation are key elements for building resilient societies. So we are fostering also productive transformations focused on the well-being of the population 
the reconstruction of the social fabric, as well as the protection uh, and sustainable use of natural and biocultural heritage. Mexico has reinforced its commitment to Paris Agreement accomplishment uh, this past December 2020 by submitting an updated version of our national determined contributions. And also our country reviewed the NDC and presented a more ambitious adaptation component, which is supported by public policies to reduce inequality and climate vulnerabilities. I want to highlight that our NDC went through a broad consultation process that includes all actors, academia, the federal and local governments, indigenous people, youth, women, and of course the civil society. To raise ambition, Mexico committed to incorporate it, um, a social participation approach that includes the application of nature-based solutions uh, as this serve as a double purpose of accelerating uh, mitigation, but also fostering adaptation and they are among at least expensive um, policy measures that the government can adopt as Mexican uh, government recognize ecosystems based adaptation as one of the three pillars of our NDC adaptation component and uh, an element that could secure natural pr produ protection is a, a paramount uh, also activity in our acti uh, in our report so as an example one of the NDC most ambitious goal about reaching net zero deforestation by 2030 is essentially an ecosystems-based adaptation policy. Regarding mitigation, Mexico uh, endorsed the commitment to reduce 22 of the greenhouse uh, gases emissions as well as to reduce 55% uh, of its black carbon emissions by 2030. With technical, technological and financial cooperation, we estimate we could achieve uh, a reduction of up to 36% of GAG emissions and 70% of black carbon emissions by 2030. This is important to mention that uh, Mexico has established an emissions trading system also, the first one in Latin America, which seeks to mitigate greenhouse gas emissions in the energy and the industry sectors, including the power generation, oil and gas subsectors, among others. Moreover, we are working on methane gas mitigation, identifying new opportunity areas with the waste and agricultural sectors. We are also developing strategies to address mitigation of short-lived clim climate pollutants, such as black carbon and uh, hydrochlorofluorocarbons, which uh, offer climate benefits uh, in the short and medium term. These are just some of the actions and initiatives that Mexico are promoting but uh, no nation can tackle climate change alone. To comply with our commitments on the, pa the Paris Agreement, we need also to strengthen multilateralism and the multilateral institutions. This past September 18th, Me Mexico host a, a summit of heads of the state and government of the community of Latin American and the Caribbean states, where we ratified or highest political commitment in the fight against climate change, desertification, pollution, deforestation, the foundation and biodiversity loss as urgent challenges facing humanity to achieve balance between the economic, social and environmental needs of present and future generations. As CELAC, we are calling on developed uh, countries to comply with their financial commitments and uh, all mul multilateral environmental agreements in terms of mitigation, adaptation, loss and uh, damage. We seek to facilitate accessible conditions to financial resources, ensuring technology transfer, construction and capacity development in favorable conditions. We underscore the need for improving the quantity, the quality the access and forceability and the efficacy of climate action financing, increasing resources for adaptation in a manner that maintains balance with mitigation in the allocation of climate finance and in accordance with the needs and priorities of developing countries. Thank you very much for your attention.